Okay, so I'm like lollyganging around on these videos, and I keep like going over my time and realizing I didn't really talk about anything. Okay, so I want to kind of keep some of that there if you can see it. I'm going to show you something here real quick with the live hand. So you can see the how, how I showed you with the arms. You can see here this muscle is longer on this side, and this one here is short, as you can see. And you can even see the shoulder as I showed you. It comes out, even with the shirt on, and it slightly cuts off. Like there's a, Almost like the, you can imagine a square here, and it's cut the corner off. It comes like that, like that, like that. And then you can see it comes out, and it comes in, see? And, the, and it just blends into the bicep there. Because um, she has a little more fat here. So you can kind of, you can't really s see where the shoulder and bicep, it just kind of blends together because of the fat. Which is fine, she's not fat, obviously. Just a little bit fat there. She's a little different shape to her arm. She needs to work out her arms a little bit, maybe. Okay, um, the wrist, then, you can see it has a slight angle, and I'll show that in a second. And um, so let's go up. Let's see here. So I'll, I'll do a big, draw a straight line, and then draw a circle, and then draw a circle right on top of that line. And this is um, the inside of your wrist, where, it connect, where the side where your thumb's at. And so if the wrist came, uh, this would be the side where your thumb's at, and then this would be the side where your fingers are. And so you can kind of imagine this uh, like that. And so you have the, then you have that patch of skin. And let's say uh, this would be one knuckle, and then your finger come down like that. And you know you have you'd have your thumb like this, whatever. So um, it's important to memorize this slight angle then. So that's more information to add. And again, if uh, you can't draw that, you know, video one and two, at the end of video two, if you can't draw that from memory yet, then, then keep practicing that until you have that part from memory. Once you have uh, from video, at the end of video two, once you're able to draw that whole basic form from memory, then you can start adding these details we've been going in into memory. Uh, that is not now on top of that, you know, if you're using Photoshop or something, make that blue and then make another layer on top of that and then with black and start adding these other details. You know, the, the muscles here, you have your, uh, you know, in the last video we went over this, so I don't need to do it again. Then you have your collarbone. And so memorize all this information. These muscles come out longer. This is shorter. You have a slight angle to the wrist. And we'll go ahead and add this memory, to this to our memory now, the wrist. So it comes like this. And I have a hand video already, so I'm not going to go too detailed with the hands. If you want to know more about hands and drawing hands, go to my hand videos. I have more than one, uh, so you can see those. I'm going to just draw the line there for now. And so that, you know, you'd kind of only see that top part of the finger there. And then, you know, the, you'd kind of see the little, maybe the knuckle like that. And then maybe you'd see this finger coming out from underneath or whatever. just depends on how our fingers were. And I didn't really, don't like how that looks. Should come a little knuckle and then I can have the finger like that. And you'd have this slight, you know, maybe a little, because the skin, you'd have that little. Okay. So something like that. I might have made her hand actually a little big. The hand should be no bigger than um, the face, which is going to be like, you know, within there, whatever the top, you know. So you don't want it to be bigger than the face. And I think I might have made my hand a little big. My hand should be no bigger than the head, rather, not the face. You know, put your hand up to your face right now. Palm to your chin, and your fingers should come a little above your eyeballs. You know, it won't come quite to the top of your forehead. So it'll, you know, let's say our hairline was, you know, going to be like right in there somewhere. And then, you know, because I'm going to have our hair. So the hand would be about this long. Yeah, I might have made the hand a little big. So I can just... 
easy way to make it short, obviously, is just kind of go like this. This is what's cool about Photoshop. You can save a lot of time. Free transform. Hold down the shift key. And, oops, wrong way. What's going on? Okay. I have no idea why it's going big and not small. That's just weird. I don't know what happened there. Then I, you know, go in. This isn't going to be the final. Obviously, this isn't the final uh, drawing. So I'd go over it one more time and make it finalized. Okay, so now we got the uh, wrist information in there. And again, for hands, you're going to want to go to the hand videos. I'm not going to go in more detail. The next thing that we want to add to memory is this section in here. Uh, there is some, there's a few things you want to add to memory. So obviously, we already got this part here. And let's see here. Uh, this uh, 3D model kind of, you can kind of see... Yeah, you can kind of see the 3D model. So you have the, you know, obviously the beginning of your hips that come out here, like that. Now, depending on how big the girl is and how much fat they have, there the things you want to memorize though are, you have this. Let's see if we can zoom in. Okay, so you have that shape there, from there to there. And you'll notice and that's where you wear your bikini. You'll notice there's a slight indent there. Very slight. So first, first you want to do is draw your line like that. So see, I just have the line drawn like that. So first, let's go ahead and do that. Then let's draw our line where it starts from there. Comes the thickest right here. Comes out the farther, and then it starts tapering in like that. So draw the line like that first. And I'm going to slightly lighten it up okay then there's that slight it's almost like oh man I wish I can have a live model where you can see this let me push pause okay well I can't find one anyway it's really not important honestly because there we go anyway it's really not it's really not important because for most angles you won't see it but nonetheless I'll I'll show it anyway so you have Imagine like a two, so within that long line there, imagine you have two lines, like one line here like that, and then another line here, it's a little one, and then one here where the leg starts. So how that would work then is you'd have where this would kind of come up and connect where the, you know, it's like where the bikini line is. Pretty much if you just kind of follow that line up like that, it's where the bikini would be. You know, about like that. And so you'd have, I'm going to erase most of this, barely see it. And you'd have one line from there to there, like that. And then just have a slight dip, and then another line from there to there, like a little bump. And that right there is pretty much like where the hip bone is, where you'd have like, I think like there or something. And then this final line, which would come out and come like this. And the, again, the widest part, I, I actually messed that up. I want my widest part more down here. So, like that. So you can kind of, you know, it's just such a light, you almost can't see it. So it really only matters from certain angles where you can see that. So, okay. So the next, uh, we don't have enough time, but the next we'll be going into the, the inner lake here, the, uh, the, the two shapes, which, which is really, it's kind of like this shape here. You have that first shape, and then you have this kind of almost straight, it kind of comes straight like that, where it'll come to the knee. Okay, time's up.